Hey you guys, I'm at the coffee shop. It's so antique. But anyway, I have a quick word. It's just gonna be called unexpected blessings. Unexpected sadness, but unexpected blessings. So, unexpected sadness. My dog passed away. It'll be a week tomorrow. No, yeah, about a week tomorrow. And it was so unexpected. I knew mean, she was sick, but I didn't know she, when I took her to the ER, the vet ER, I knew I just assumed she'd recover. Like, and it was just like this unexpected sadness. But I always remember the prophecy I got five years ago, um, where the Lord told me that I will birth two children, and they'll do be, give me a great joy. And you know, I was asking God for twins. But anyway, that hasn't happened yet. But like when this year, He's been empathizing. They'll give me do be great joy. And I've always asked God, like, please let Ellie still be here when I have kids. My dog's name is Ellie. Please let her still be here. Please let her be at my wedding, all of that. But in the back of my mind, I, in the back, far back, far back, far back, like in a back, back room, in the, in the closet of that room, I thought, what if they're going to give me great joy because my dog died? And I know that these things are coming for me in the future. Like, if children are coming, I just feel it closer in my spirit, like, it could be I just feel it's closer whenever that time close is I just feel it but it's just like sometimes you have to give something to God give something back to God so he can give it to you when Jesus was about to leave he had to he did like don't leave but he's like if I don't leave the comforter cannot come something greater is gonna come so the Holy Spirit can live in you and we can do greater works so what if I have to give my dog to, to heaven to God I had a wonderful six years like I was her mom I gave her everything for six years but what if not saying it's gonna be now or in a year or two whenever but whatever it is it was an exchange you know for my my, my kids could come like like um john the baptist was great but it, to be honest he had to die so that jesus could be even greater he was the he was the forerunner so that was unexpected blessing unexpected sadness even COVID was unexpected I watched people's YouTube videos talking about the plans they had for this year weddings have been canceled they have smaller weddings you know everyone's life has been people didn't get proms like people you know people have died from COVID it's so unexpected we're wearing masks unexpected but God is saying there's gonna be unexpected blessings I know it might be minor but this morning I woke up to Ariana Grande's new song I love it it's my favorite video of hers ever I love it so I because I love like power and government and all that stuff. So she put that in its perfect song jams. But anyway, that was an unexpected blessing that I needed to just lift my spirits and just, you know, sing a song. And then also, when I went to the post office today, Ellie's paw print came out. When she died, they got her paw print and made me a like cement memorial thing. But I thought I was going to go to the, um, the vet to go pick it up. But it came in the mail and that was unexpected. Unexpected blessing. I was trying to get jeans, you know, where I'm at, it's, most stores are open, but you cannot try on clothes. And so, you know, I don't have any jeans. I don't fit my jeans anymore. Or they, they got old and faded. I had one pair of jeans. And I went over to my sister-in-law yesterday. She literally gave me a whole bag of jeans, like probably like eight pairs of jeans and a shirt. Like unexpected blessings, what I needed, you know what I mean? So even if things have happened really bad for you, or, but just know that God is with you, okay? Thumbnail.